Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge that many developers encounter when working with Azure Functions. Our viewer is trying to unit test a basic Azure function, but they've hit a roadblock. The function's run method requires a TraceWriter argument, which is an abstract class. They're struggling to find documentation on how to mock this dependency effectively. To give you a clearer picture, the method signature they're working with looks like this. Public static void run, string my queue item, trace writer log. The challenge lies in creating an instance of trace writer for their unit tests. So how can they mock this abstract class and ensure their tests run smoothly? Let's explore some insights and strategies to overcome this hurdle. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To unit test an Azure function that requires a trace writer, we need to mock this dependency. Since trace writer is an abstract class, we cannot instantiate it directly. We can use a mocking framework like Moq to create a mock implementation of TraceWriter. First, ensure you have the Moq package installed in your project. Next, let's create a mock TraceWriter in our unit test. Here's how you can set it up using Moq. Now, you can pass this mock object to your Azure Functions run method during testing. This allows you to verify that logging occurs as expected. Finally, remember to check the output of your tests to ensure everything is functioning correctly. Mocking dependencies like TraceWriter is a powerful way to isolate your tests. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To unit test an Azure function, you can use the mock library to mock the trace writer. Simply create a mock instance with the desired trace level. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.